Hello and welcome to Bird Eye Live, the show dedicated to the digital transformation of local businesses everywhere. I am your host, Justin Meredith, and join me as we learn from industry experts about the how and the why for taking your business online and claiming the most valuable real estate on the internet, that first page of Google. Now, today's episode is a special one because we are joined by Bird Eye's very own Vice President of Product Marketing, Rebecca Caldwell. Welcome, Rebecca. Thank you so much for joining us today. How are you? Thanks. Thanks so much for having me, Justin. I'm great. Um, this happens to be my one year anniversary at Bird Eye. Uh, That's awesome. Yeah. So Congratulations. Yeah. Exciting milestone. <laughs> That's great. So, and that, I mean, wow, in the past year, it's been a ton of stuff that has happened, you know? I mean, just from the 12 months you've been here, I mean, it feels like we've launched so many new products. We've had, you know, so, you know all kinds of expansions. Uh, and, you know, the next 12 months are gonna be probably even crazier and it's gonna just get even more fun for us here at BirdEye. Um, now, this isn't your first appearance on BirdEye Live, but it is the first time you've joined us this year in 2023. So. For those who may not be familiar with you, can you share a little bit about yourself and how you got to BirdEye? Oh, sure. Um, absolutely. So like I said, it's my one year anniversary at BirdEye. Um, but prior to joining, um, I've had a pretty extensive career in product marketing and communications at, at fast growth tech companies like BirdEye. Um, it's always been in the marketing and technology space um, with a focus on local businesses and brands. Um, I love um, helping consumers and businesses connect in the in the community um, and stay on top of exciting innovations uh, in the space and, and changes in consumer behavior. So that's really exciting for me. Um, in my role here at BirdEye, um, I drive our market research initiatives. And the primary goal is to understand the needs of our customers and the market. And then I help take those insights and use them to guide our product strategy. So that helps determine what products we build, what problems we want to try to solve for our customers. And then once our amazing product and engineering teams deliver those features, and they do that at an incredible pace, by the way, I have never seen such a rapid pace of innovation and, and so many amazing um, new things brought to market. Once those, those products are ready for the market, I help launch those products and educate customers and the market about how those products can deliver value for their organization. That's awesome. Yeah, and I love the fact that, you know, our approach is we see a problem that businesses are facing and we try to find a way to solve that problem. And we're very solution focused when it comes to the products that we do put out. And, you know, speaking of which, a few weeks ago on BirdEye Live, we were talking about some of the latest updates and announcements coming out of BirdEye. And a few of which were the recent releases of our newest products, uh, BirdEye Social, BirdEye Appointments, and Payments. And since everyone is tuning into the stream right now, is currently on social media, uh, let's dig into that one first. And so at this point, having a uh, presence on social media is basically a necessity for local businesses or really any business. But if you've actually ever tried to run a business social account, you will come to realize that it is so much harder than it may seem. Um, it is a ton of time and work. I mean, posting consistently, thinking strategically about what you're posting and how it's coming across to your audience. Uh, keeping things organized, uh, tracking the analytics so that you know what's working and what's not, and and monitoring you know what people are saying about your business is a very very tall order. Uh, so Rebecca, how how does Bird Eye Social come into play? It's a great question, and you are a hundred percent correct that while social media is essential for a local business or brand, you know, you've got to engage with customers, monitor your reputation. Um, it is so much harder than it sounds, um, especially if you are a local business that has multiple locations. Um, what I found in my research in, in connecting with our, our customers is that they may have, you know, 25, 50, 100 locations, but they're still supporting that social media content with a very lean team. Uh, and so, um, and what we also found was that most of the social media tools on the market today are designed for businesses that have one brand and one location, almost like BirdEye, right? We we're a, you know, we've got international presence, but we've got one thing that we're talking about. Um, and that can be supported with the lean marketing team, but there aren't really solutions out there that are just 
that are designed for multi-location businesses that have a presence in different markets. And that is exactly what Bird Eye Social was designed to address. Um, so from the ground up, uh, we are here specifically to meet the needs of multi-location businesses. And to give you an example of what that looks like, um, we have um, a beautiful uh, template library and a visual um, design editor so that uh, the person who's responsible for creating social content can easily go in and create posts that are configured properly for Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube, and um, your Google business profile, which by the way, um, is a social channel that a lot of people sleep on. You know, they, they um, don't realize that they could be posting content there on a regular basis, um, but it certainly helps with SEO um, and uh, should definitely be something that you're contemplating as part of your strategy. Um, so we give you templates and a visual editor to create that content. Uh, you can schedule it in advance. Uh, you can see all your activities on a visual calendar, uh, all of that stuff. But the real magic of Bird Eye Social um, is our ability to publish content to multiple locations at the same time. So uh, let's say you are um, in urgent care and you have five locations in the metro area and you wanna remind everyone that it's time to come in for your annual flu shot. Uh, in a typical platform, you would have to create five separate posts and then go post them um, for each of your five locations. With BirdEye, you can create one post and then use a personalization token that automatically merges in a unique address or telephone number or something specific to your location um, and then publishes with your one post five personalized versions of that uh, across your different social channels. Um, so what that does for your social media manager is make life so much easier because you can create one piece of content that is then published across all of your locations. Um, a five, you know, location urgent care is one example, but, um, you know, we have uh, a vet uh, clinic in Texas that has 22 locations and this saves their social media manager so much time. Um, so that's super exciting. Uh, that's a feature that's really, really special. Um, of course, we're a reputation management platform and social and reputation go hand in hand. Um, and so one of the other really cool things we do is we make it super easy for you to take your glowing reviews and auto post them across social channels. Um, so you can create little rules. You can say, hey, every week I want you to post two five-star reviews. Here's a beautiful template that makes it look awesome. And boom, you've got user-generated content uh, across your channels without lifting a finger. That's awesome. Yeah, we, it, customers love it. I was just chatting with someone earlier today who said like, this is, this is her favorite content um, and it happens automatically. That's amazing. Um, and then finally, just really quickly, you know, once you've got your content out there, you've got to track how people are engaging with it, of course. Um, so we make that really easy too. We've got engaged features that track likes and comments. You can go to one place, um, monitor all of that, and then reply. And of course, reporting. Um, and so we've got some great reporting features that help you measure the impact of everything that you do on social, both at the corporate and the, um, the local level. Um, which is really cool too, because I talked to a lot of social media managers who were trying to download separate social media reports and merge them all into a spreadsheet of some kind. And that's just a nightmare. No one has time for that. Um, <laughs> so our reporting tools are great if you want visibility into a specific location, performance by a region, and then everything rolls up at an aggregate level as well. That's amazing. Um, as a, I, I was a, so I was a social media manager in a past life and, um, I would say that you know being able to manage multiple location social media presences from one place is massively important, um, especially if you're trying to, you know, have real control over your brand and keep things consistent, as opposed to having multiple places with multiple accounts in multiple areas with multiple people, you know, adding to it. It can really make things a little bit messy whenever you are trying to have a consistent, you know, brand across social media, um, and if you only just have the one, it's really hard to personalize that for a specific location too. You know, mm -hmm. so being able to have that localized content for each individual location, but also keep the brand and the voice and the messaging consistent uh, is an absolute game changer, especially, I mean, if you're in the multi-location business, I guess, that's, I mean, that's that's gotta be a huge one. Um, and then also, you know, I, I remember back whenever I was a social media manager, the amount of times I would have to Google the dimensions for each social media site for an image. <laughs> I mean, it was constant, 
constant. And so just having that in the, the design editor within the bird eye tool um, would be super, super helpful. Now, Absolutely. Um, talking about the next product that we just came out with appointments, and this is essentially the next step in that process. So let's say somebody sees you on social media, they like what you said, or they saw a review that you had reposted. Um, and they go to your website and they're like, oh, these people are great. Let's, you know, I want to, you know, I want to test out their business, whether it may be, you know, a restaurant that they want to go to, um, or like a dentist office where they want to set up an appointment. And, and that's what this is. So setting up an appointment, um, can you share, and before we talk about what bird eye appointments is, can you share the, why it was developed? Like, so what are the, the issues businesses are facing that resulted in the development of bird eye appointments? Absolutely. It's a great question. Um, the first thing that I think that's really important to, uh, to understand is that appointments are absolutely essential for how local businesses generate revenue. Uh, we did a, a survey of our customers um, in December, and we asked how much of your revenue was generated from appointments. And for customers in the dental and healthcare space, it's 100% of the revenue. You know, every single dollar that they generate happens because a patient is in the office getting a paid service delivered. Mm -hmm. um, when we looked at industries like a home service provider, so someone that's coming out to landscape your yard or clean your pool um, or deliver professional service, like file your taxes or cut your hair, all of those things are also, you know, appointments driven. You've got you've to have an appointment to deliver that service. But at the same time, um, appointments help them generate revenue as well. So think about an auto dealership uh, test drive. It really is an appointment that is, is generating, hopefully, a sale at the end of that test drive. Um, people who call and want quotes, there's often an appointment that's required to gather the necessary information. So the bottom line is like appointments are absolutely essential for generating revenue for a local business. And you have to keep your calendar packed with appointments to maximize your revenue. And that's where things get a little challenging. Um, consumer behaviors have changed a little bit. Um, people used to be fine calling to make an appointment. They're not cool doing that anymore. They want to be able to book an appointment 24 seven from their, their mobile device, you know, um, from home after hours. They're just too busy to call between eight and five uh, to book an appointment. So, um, you know, customers, uh, consumers are looking for a really easy way to book appointments. Um, and at, at the same time, the business needs a really easy way to remind people, hey, you have an appointment coming up. Um, one of the other things our survey uncovered is that 20% of appointments result in either a last minute cancellation or a no show. That's a lot of money, you know, 20% of your calendar just being wide open because a customer, you know, a patient forgot to, to show up. Um, so these businesses are spending a lot of time doing uh, manual reminders to, to try to get um, appointments booked or trying to like scramble at the last minute to fill an open space. Um, and then, of course, finally, um, you know, there, there's a lot of information that needs to be gathered before an appointment. And they're looking to streamline this process because the same person who's responsible for booking appointments, confirming appointments, you know, getting all that pre-appointment paperwork. It's probably the same person who is sitting behind a desk, greeting a patient who's walking into the waiting room um, or, you know, doing other kinds of services to keep, keep the business running. Um, it's a lot of work and they're looking for a better way to manage that process. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think when you, like you were saying a hundred percent of the customers, especially like the dental and healthcare, um, if every single one of your customers is, you know, they have to schedule an appointment, you want that appointment process to be as smooth and as seamless as humanly possible. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and for me, I know from personal experience, I actually had a dentist appointment yesterday and I wasn't even sure if I had it because I rely so heavily on those reminder texts because I can't remember if I had scheduled it when I did my last appointment, you know, for, you know, for a dentist of every six months. And so I fully Re like rely on you know a reminder text coming in so that I remember that I actually have uh, an appointment coming up and so and then it was yeah and so it was just funny because I thought I was gonna I thought I didn't make one and so I because I hadn't received a text when I thought I was supposed to and then you know two or three days later I did and it's like oh sweet okay cool but that that is such a major thing especially for uh kind of that patient retention you know like like a dentist that has those recurring visits um, being able to have those appointments automatically scheduled for the next one and then those reminders coming out so that they never miss it um, 
you know, like you said, 20%, 20% are either last minute cancellations or no shows. So if you can reduce that percentage, I mean, the, the savings and the revenue that can come in towards the business is, is crazy. Absolutely. So, so how does bird eye appointments address these issues? Sure. Um, that's a great question. So, um, one of the things I forgot to mention was that uh, a lot of businesses that are managing their appointments use multiple tools. They might use one for booking appointments, one to send out reminders, um, one for processing paperwork before an appointment. Um, BirdEye Appointments is an all-in-one platform that handles all of your scheduling, all of your reminders, reminders for appointments that are booked, and reminders to book a follow-up appointment. Like, Congratulations, by the way, on going into the dentist every six months. That's very admirable. Um, <laughs> most people forget to book, right? So, uh, you know, getting that email saying or text message saying, hey, it's time for your, your semi-annual cleaning, um, that our application does that as well. Um, and it integrates seamlessly with the rest of BirdEye, um, which is great because that means that um, – after an appointment, you can automatically trigger a request for a, a review or a referral. Um, I don't want to preview it too much, but you can process a payment, you know, a down payment um, or a you know copay um, associated with that appointment. Um, so it's all part of the same platform that you use to run your local business. Um, so it's it was just a natural fit. Our customers were asking for it, and uh, they're really excited um, about what the application can do. Yeah, and I, like you said, having it all in one platform, I think, makes it leagues better in terms of managing all that data. It's kind of similar to the social where you're able to have all of your different locations in one spot. Um, being able to just manage everything from one dashboard and not having to log into multiple different tools and things like that uh, makes a world of difference. Absolutely. And so you, you just you actually just alluded to this, but um, shifting gears to to our, you know, one of the more recent products that we just came out with, BirdEye Payments, which is now after the appointment, so the very end of this, the, the customer journey. Um, why, why did BirdEye develop this product? What was kind of the, the problem or the you know, problem that we were trying to find that solution for? Sure. You know, it's interesting because it's, a, it's a, a little similar to appointments. There were two reasons. The first is that consumers are demanding a more convenient way to pay. Uh, they want to pay through tax, through a digital wallet. Maybe they want to buy now and pay later. Um, and they have the flexibility to do this with some really big brands. So if a local business doesn't offer a flexible payment option, they could really be missing out on some revenue. Um, and the second thing is that for all local businesses, cash is king. Cash flow is king. And so, um, you know, they are looking for a faster way to get paid. Um, and the, the old model of delivering a service, mailing an invoice and collecting that revenue later, um, is just not working. Um, they want to be able to collect that revenue immediately to, you know, get that cash in their pocket and cut back on a lot of that administrative, mm-hmm. uh, back office work. So, um, those were the, the two key drivers that led us to, to develop, uh, bird eye payments. And so how does bird eye payments fit into that? How does, how, how do, you know, how does it address those challenges? Absolutely. Uh, bird eye payments is an amazing platform. Um, the first thing is that it's really comprehensive. So it doesn't matter if you run your business in person, online, on the go, you know, if you're a home service provider or something, we can help you collect almost any kind of payment any way you want to. So you can do text to pay, email payments, online payments, you can use QR codes um, to do a scan to pay. We've got in-office um, card readers. We've got field-based readers. Um, we can support. So in addition to processing in all of those different ways, um, we can support all types of payments as well. So um, if you're a dental office and you need a copay, you can do a partial payment. Um, you could do recurring payments as a service provider. Um, you can provide buy now, pay later options, um, where you get the full revenue up front, by the way. Um, you can have automated payment reminders that are sent from the system to ensure you collect your revenue on time. And we accept, you know, credit, debit, mobile, ACH, all of the different uh, types of payment methods as well. So it's an extremely comprehensive payment platform, um, which is something that offers our businesses the flexibility to collect payments the way their customers want to pay. Mm-hmm. Um, the second thing that our customers really, really love is that our payment platform is really transparent. So it's one flat fee for every transaction. 
There are no upfront fees or recurring fees or hidden fees. There are no long-term contracts. Um, it's just a really simple, transparent um, bottle and it's highly secure. You know, we talk about payments. This is an area where, you know, people can get a little bit nervous. Um, we are built on world-class Stripe infrastructure. We're PCI compliant. We've got tools for early fraud detection. We handle any potential chargeback disputes on your behalf. Um, so when you work with BirdEye Payments, you can rest assured that it's safe, secure, and issue-free. Wow. That's incredible. Um, and, you know, on top of all of that, it's also integrated with all of our other really awesome tools and features that, you know, just keep, like I said, keeps everything in that one dashboard and that one platform that just, you know, it just takes hours, uh, you know, out of a, out of the week, you know, or the month, you know, in terms of just trying to bounce around on all that administrative work, like you were just saying. Absolutely. Um, and so thank you so much, Rebecca, for that breakdown. Uh, I'm excited to see what new stuff we have coming up, especially within these products. I'm sure we've got the team, you know, continuously working to make it better every single day. Um, you know, and you know, this talk about appointment, appointments and payments uh, actually reminds me that we have a webinar coming up uh, next week on April 6th. And in that discussion, uh, Dr. Lin Tao, a dentist of over 16 years, uh, will join us to talk about the current state of the dental industry and identify the pain points that practitioners are facing today. Um, as it, you know, as it relates to, you know, the payment processes, appointment scheduling, the, you know, how do you communicate with your patients? A lot of what we were just talking about today. And he's going to share how you can overcome those challenges with a modern digital experience. And it's one that makes it easier for patients to find, book, pay, and most importantly, come back to your practice um, and help keep your patients, you know, that, that incre and increase that uh, patient retention. Um, so it's going to be a really, really great discussion. I'm super excited for it. And so if you're in the dental industry or even the healthcare industry, this is going to relate really well to you. Um, but if you're also just in a business that does take appointments and is looking for ways to optimize that digital experience for your customers, uh, this will, you know, you, you can still find value in this in this webinar. So I definitely recommend registering for it. Uh, it should be in the caption or uh, of this live stream or in the description on YouTube if you're viewing us there. Uh, so it looks like that's all the time we have for today. Thank you, Rebecca, for joining us. And I hope we get to have you on again soon. This is a lot of fun. Thanks, Justin. I always enjoy our chats. Awesome. Cool. And thank you, everyone, for tuning in today. Be sure to register for that webinar coming up next week. Uh, the link's in the comments. And uh, also be sure to follow us here on LinkedIn uh, so you don't miss any of the next uh, episodes of the Bird, of Bird Eye Live. And uh, we'll see you next week. Thanks, guys.